Still worried about Tippy's condition, Mario and friends opened the fifth door. They still needed to find three pure hearts, but the imminent destruction of the world was approaching at an alarming pace. Mar would Mario have enough time to save the day? And what foul trick and, and his what foul trick would Count Black and his goons come up with next? The adventure grew more dangerous and more thrilling with every step. Chapter 5 1 Downtown of Craig. Hmm, it looks like we are going to Caveman Days. Or at least that's what this chapter always reminded me of. Okay, so we have a couple people there. Those are the probably the inhabitants of this place that we're heading to. And guess what? The door spawns in mid-air. Hey, look, we're Jesus. We're actually standing in mid- no, Jesus, that's water. I'm not sure if Jesus can stand in mid-air. That would be pretty cool if he can, but yeah. Yeah, quite a nice view from here, but no pure hearts, unfortunately. Uh-oh, yep, mid-air. What do you know? Boo-hoo. And it looks like these guys are enjoying a nice little song here. Kragnung's coming. Hello! Oh, Craig! What in Craig? Whoa, Scar! You see a person drop out of sky, bruh? Yeah, just boy. Thought I was losing my crag, bruh. Person shaped weird, huh? Wait, you think maybe person sent down to help by Big Rock who watches? This hair face, bruh, bruh. I thought that Big Rock, who, Big Rock who watches, would send someone cooler. Bite your crag, bruh. Do not doubt power of Big Rock who watches. Oh my gosh, and... Looks like we're taken hostage. That's what happens, that's what happens in some places. Some places, some places don't allow visitors, you know? As soon as, as, soon as you, you step foot into, into the visiting area, you just get, you just get yourself kidnapped right off the bat. It's kind of, it's kind of a shame, but it's just how it is. What are you things? This is land of Kragnons! Me, Kragnon! Him, Kragnon! This land of Kragnons! It's not rocket science. So this is the chief of Kragnons. I'm totally pronouncing this wrong, because I can't say it very well. For some reason. Okay, so the Kragnon- So the Kragnons are- are having trouble here. And they're in big danger. One day, freak plant people came. Nerd Kragnon named them Floral Sapiens. Really? Of all names. They kidnapped many Kragnons. We were peaceful bras. They give peace no chance. Rescue team of Kragnons now need to be rescued. We at end of our Krag. How do we save Kragnons? No idea no ideas come to Marbade. Marbald. Extinct! Bummer, bruh. So weak, bruh. Um, sure, I guess we'll rescue- uh, I guess we have not much of a choice but to rescue them. Okay. You rock, serious! Yeah, serious, no cragging. Big Rock who watches sent you cra to Kragnons for sure. Uh-oh. And we have another one. King Crocus? Who is that? Uh-oh, so it looks like the villagers have been kidnapped. That's bad. Servants of Big Rock Who Watches, you heard that, right? So what is this Big Rock Who Watches you speak of? I wonder. So anyway, welcome to the downtown of Crag. And, pretty good enough, that's the name of the chapter. Which is pretty cool. 
Haven't seen that one before, have we? That's <laughs> some sort of rare breed. A pure heart polisher? What? Yeah, these guys know something about the pure heart. Our super mighty leader, King Crocus, would be stoked to have a rare breed. Let's tenderize it a bit and, and stone st 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 it back, dude. Okay, so we have Floral Sapiens. That, these are the enemies right here. Um, special thing, um, one thing to know about these guys is they will throw their heads at you, and they are still moving around even if you destroy their heads. So, you gotta kill them completely in order, in order for you to count as killing them. Uh-oh. Whoa, hello. Okay. So, it looks like the Floral Sapiens have taken away the villagers. Dang, that's a shame. All the buildings are 2D. Oh, Craig! So, yeah, you can't actually enter these buildings yet. You actually have to leave the area and come back later in order to um, actually explore this place. Okay, so we have a nice little... Um, animated thing where it shows somebody running around a statue, which looks like Yoshi. Look, even we can't, we even can't shop in here. That's a shame. Wow. Okay. That sucks. And we have a little tiny building right here, which we can't really do anything about. Can I swim in this? Holy crap! I can swim in that, but you probably don't want to swim in that. It's, it looks disgusting. Hey, look! Tiny hole right here. I can't. I can't see what's on the other side. Looks like we'll be back later. Wow. Yeah. All right. Well, instead of following them, let's go ahead and make our way this way. Hey, we have putrid piranha plants now. Stronger variations of regular piranha plants. Oh God. Thankfully, thank, thank, thank God, I did not get poisoned. Uh, future crop plants have a high chance of dropping that item that you just saw right there. It's a kill mango. Um, it's uh, not a very strong uh, healing item, but um, it's pretty cool. And these are moon clefts. Okay. All right. All right. So we encountered this enemy before in chapter three. In chapter three, but you want to not get hit by the, by this enemy. Otherwise, then bad things will happen to you. I don't know if I remember. I don't know. I don't remember if I said anything about about what its full effects are, but you don't want to know. I'm not gonna tell you what it is. You're just gonna have to find out yourself on, on why it's a bad thing to kill to get hit by them. So, all right, all right. So, um, we have these enemies. These are stronger variations of Schlorps. These are Schlorps, I think. I don't know. I don't know. They, their names sound way too similar. Hey, wow, Boomer looked kind of weird there for a second there, but um. We go inside this pipe, after killing all those guys, we get the Bowser 2 card, which looks like if I could actually get to it. Where is it? Where are you, Bowser? Come here. Come here. Uh, uh, there you are. Uh, uh, uh. Bowser in a wedding dress. There's Bowser looking dapper in a white tux. Pity the minion that had to, to wax his tail. Or his shell, his shell. Why did I say tail? I don't know. Uh, anything, anything else spectacular here? No, there's not. Oh well. All right. Let's go ahead and make a way out then. In that case. Okay. Anyway, let's go ahead now. Let's go ahead and follow and follow them, shall we? Uh, let's see. Um, I actually stored some items off screen because I realized that that every time I've gotten an item, I've been. Um, Oh god, oh my god, is this the first time I've been in low HP? Holy moly. Okay. Well, in that case, let's go ahead and use... Oh, dang. Okay, let's go ahead and use the space food that I got from uh, the last chapter. Because for some reason, I have a hard time killing moon so I don't know why. Okay, dude, I, dude, dude, I suck! I don't understand! Can I... Their hitboxes aren't that bad, I swear to you. Okay, there we go. Okay, here we go. Alright. Let's go ahead and use our horse tail, because it's because it only heals some HP. Hey, we have a happy flower. Uh oh, uh, oh, if I can even get to it. 
Alright, so happy flower. So this uh, happy flower should be easier to actually get coins in because um, we're near like a bunch of we're we're near a, bu a bunch of we're a, we're, near, we're near a cliff, so we can just climb it and get all the coins and such. So, but it's not much. But it's not. There's not much. So let's go ahead and make our way up this way. And I'm actually gonna skip past that enemy because if we head over here, we can get ourselves this chest. And this chest is a moon cleft card. That will make the moon clefts a lot easier to deal with. That way we're not doing dealing one damage. So, boom, six damage in instead. Oh baby. Okay. Alright, so we actually have to use Peach in order to get across to this. No problem. Okay, so this is actually where you have to backtrack, because this is the part where where you would not know what to do after this point when you see these blocks. So what you have to do is you have to backtrack. There would be a guy named Jasperoid, you have to talk to him, and then he'll give you and then he'll and then he'll tell you what to, and then he'll t basically tell you what to do here. Uh, so uh, thankfully, uh, this is why you have me here, so that way you don't have to worry about backtracking. So if you know this. Uh, then you don't have to do that. So left, right, middle, boom. Oh yeah, simple as that. Okay, now don't worry. It's actually it's not it is it is not gonna be that easy because later on, uh, coming up, actually it's in this screen right now that you will actually encounter the three blocks again here in this screen, and it's a lot more complicated. That's when you actually have to backtrack. In order to get, in order to get the code. Now, you want to write the code down because there is no way you can memorize it unless you are a super nerd. But that's like pretty much impossible. These these enemies right here have really weird hitboxes. Uh, and but and uh, these enemies are really powerful. I believe these are probably, in my opinion, the strongest enemies in in the game. Okay, okay. You know what? Where are you going? Uh, these enemies, these enemies right here, they have a hundred HP. So yeah, that that is really tough. So I'm gonna go ahead and basically just kill a lot, kill off these enemies. Oh, hey. Catch card, okay. Actually, you know what? Because they have a lot of HP, I'm gonna go ahead and use, uh, if uh, the next time I encounter them, okay, here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and use a catch card SP, just so I can actually get, just so I can actually do more damage on these guys. Yay, okay. And, and, and that way I can get their card in my card inventory. Oh God, no. I, I, I don't wanna die. Um. Dang, I, I, I honestly hate to do this, but uh, that's kind of a shame. Jesus Christ, man, why? Okay, well that makes killing well that makes that that does a great that does that makes killing them easier. Okay. Um, I have always killed them with Bowser, uh, because it's easier like like that. Um because um, jumping on them, I mean, you saw you saw me jump on the first move, and jump and jumping on the first move, and with me jumping on the first move, it's actually not easy, uh, because their hitboxes are really bad. So, yeah. Okay. So anyway, this is the part where you want to. This is the part where you get this super complicated code. And that it's so complicated that there's no way, no matter how many times you play this game, you're ever going to memorize it. So you have to write it down somewhere. So, that's why I wrote it down. So, what, so the code is... Okay, here we go. Middle, right, left, left, right, middle, right, left. Right, right, middle, right, right. Uh, left, middle, middle, left, 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 right, left, 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 middle, middle. 
Yeah! Okay! It took me two tries. Alright, not bad. Okay. The, the pain in the butt pro- the most pain in the butt part about- about- about the way that you're supposed to do this level is you have to beg somebody for the code. You literally- that is pretty much what you have to do, and it is annoying! Why would- why would I ever want to do that? So, there we go. Okay. Anyway. Make your way onwards, and we have the end of the level! End of chapter!